if you have some questions for these two that you would like answered, and we'll actually talk to a couple after uh, part one of McCabe. That's right. Right before you head out for Halloween, you can call us up really quickly and tell us what you're wearing and, and, and what you're doing tonight and ask Angie uh, and Maya questions. Do we have a phone number? Can we bring one up? We'll try it on there. Okay, we'll, hang on. We'll, no, we'll, we'll see do it, it over we'll here. In a second. Okay, they'll bring it up in a second. Okay, <laughs> okay I'm going to bring it up. We forgot to tell the director we needed the phone number. Okay, there we go. But it's Halloween. It's oh, okay. There it is. 1-800-720-TV-OK, or... Right. In Toronto, Benji, what's, what's the number? The number is 484-2777. You got right. it. Okay. You got it. Cool. There <laughs> All we right, are. so do you have any anything you want to tell the TVO Kids kids before we go in? Watch and call, because it's a great show, and yeah. it's scary. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And watch McCabe Mysteries. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to do that right now. You're going to hang out, and we'll be back um, after the end of after part one. After part one. Here we'll we go, McCabe Mysteries. Woo! fire was already burning. It wasn't me. You ran away. Look, I've been in trouble before. If the police find out I was here, they're gonna blame me. They always blame me. You don't have to tell anyone you saw me. You could destroy the tape. Get out. Wear clothes, young man. Willie, you all right? Fire department couldn't save it. Barn's gone. But thank you for raising the alarm. I'm sorry. Police found the gasoline can. They think it was arson. My grandfather built that barn. It was pretty rickety and useless, but it was something he built. Miss McCabe, I know who did it. Joe Taylor? I know his father. He runs the scrapyard down on Eastwood. Nasty piece of work. Because the son is no different. He says he didn't do it. Willie, that's for the police to decide. We have to give them this tape. Guess. Are you Willie? What? It's me, Aaron Stedman. My mom and dad own the party store. 
Well, we're doing the catering and the decorations. Oh, uh, real emergency, huh? Yeah, oh, well, Miss McCabe said you tell me carry things. Yeah. yeah why not? <laughs> okay. I see you around here all the time. You help Miss McCabe out, right? She doesn't know much about video. Oh. She was going to sell the place after her brother died, but I think she kind of likes it. <laughs> well, what's Willie stand for? Wilhelmina. After my grandmother. You going to wear that to the party? Get real. Everybody does gorillas. <laughs> Mr. Taylor, officers Petty and Goodson, uh, we'd like to ask your son a few questions. What's he done now? Broken some windows? No, nah, there was a fire last night. We think he may have been involved. Joe, get out here! Joe, you get out here now if you don't want a Lincoln! Stupid kid does what he wants. Ever since his mom ran off, I don't know where he is half the time. Joe! And last night's fire has forced us to change the location of New Brandon's official children's Halloween party. It's been moved to McCabe's video and television store, 57 Main Street. This is town councillor Troy Whitaker apologizing for the inconvenience and inviting everybody to bring your children down tonight and let them enjoy a happy and safe Halloween. And now we return you to the regular schedule. Thank you, Troy. We'll show it every half hour. Let's hope people are watching well, we're also making an announcement on radio. I'm sure most people will get the message. I just hope the decorations will be ready on time. Everybody's been wonderful. Of course, the video store doesn't have it. Uh, Dad, um, the bat's upside down. Well, bats are supposed to hang upside down. Not when they're flying. So this bat is an individual. Dad, we need a nice, normal bat. Well, I'm sure the party will be a big success. <laughs> and I'll make sure that the Chamber of Commerce covers any extra expense. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, uh, Miss McCabe, can we put a guillotine on the counter? Then, in the middle of the party, we'll chop the pumpkins in half. It'll be a blast. Let's work on that one, Aaron. <laughs> okay. What are you looking for? Look, it's not my fault you were here yesterday. I had to show the tape to the police. Yeah? But thanks to you, they're probably going to charge me. Why didn't you wait till the party to see the decorations, like everybody else? Because I wasn't going to the stupid party, okay? Why not? None of your business. Hey, I bet the old lady did it for the insurance money. Miss McCabe? That's stupid. Yeah? Well, I got proof. Over there. Do you want to see it or not? See? Someone was here watching the barn. Probably waited till everybody left and it was all clear. Miss McCabe doesn't smoke. She wouldn't do it herself. She paid someone. Someone who stayed in the Sleepy Time Motel. You should tell the police. Yeah, right, and have them say I put it there. Maybe you did. Okay, you kids, what are you doing here? Oh, um, I'm just taping a story for a local news program. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's Willie, right? Yeah. Shouldn't get too close, Willie. You could step on a nail or something. We don't want anyone getting hurt. So what's your excuse, Tater? You checking out the good job you did last night? This place is off limits to you, kids. You got that? Well, then go. If I catch you here again, you're in for it. Uh, look, if you want to take some more pictures, take them from the side of the road, okay? Okay. You were pretty rough on the boy, weren't you? He's the same as his father. Both real troublemakers. God knows what he's gonna burn down next. Hey, wait up! Miss McCabe 
wouldn't burn down her barn. I know she wouldn't. Yeah? Well, somebody did. Why? You want to find out? Come on, I dare you. We have to find out who's staying here. Come on. Come on, come on. Write down these names. Ultraviolets. My dad's given us some special powder to sprinkle on the decorations. Ultraviolets. Um, to make things glow in the dark? Think of it. Middle of the party, see? Suddenly, the main lights go out. The decorations begin to shimmer and glow like ghosts. Ooh. Everybody freaks. We're hit. Wouldn't bobbing for apples be more fun? Do what? Bob for apples? You put apples in a tub or a barrel, then you dunk your face into the water and pick up an apple with your teeth. Rich, right? You dunk your face in water. <laughs> Gross. We enjoyed it when we were children. Sounds dangerous. Video store owner sued after 12 kids drowned a Halloween party. Not exactly great advertising. Mm, I suppose not. Hey, this is fantastic. Really great. Miss McCabe, this is Joe, Joe Taylor. I know who he is. He says he didn't burn down your barn. I believe him. I didn't. I didn't burn down anything. It's the truth. I hope it is, young man, for your sake. I'm sorry about your barn. Are you going to put it up again with the insurance money? Oh, I don't think so. It wasn't insured anyway. I only kept it because of my grandfather. This company's been pestering me to sell the land. I guess I should have taken their offer. You mean somebody tried to buy it? Who? Oh, I don't remember. Uh, um, Action something. Action Development Corporation. That's it. And they offered me quite a good price, too. Should have sold it, I guess. That's it. What's it? Action Development wanted the land. What for? Uh, maybe to put up a shopping mall. We have a shopping mall. But Miss McCabe won't sell. So they burned it down. They burned down the shopping mall? No. The barn. And I bet someone on this list owns Action Development. Oh, let's go to the town hall. They must have records of companies. You can't. Why not? It's Saturday. They're closed. Hey, maybe we can access it on your source computer. No way. We only get information from our supplier. Yeah. You need one online to the town records. Where you can find one like that? <laughs> I don't have 50 cents. You owe me. Come on! Thinks he's a genius. We can't wait. It's almost noon. Come on. Hi, Brad. Brad? Okay, where's the menu? What? Very funny, Brad. Sorry. Come on, town records. Town records. 
doesn't say anything about companies. It has to. All the companies are registered. Even my dad's yard is registered. Not locally. What? Companies are federal. They have nothing to do with local stuff. Great. We can't access that. We're dead. What's that? Museum's closing. Brad, we have to find out some information. It's really important. You've got to help us, please. Normally museums are online through their own database. They don't have anything else here, so they use these for everything. Of course, you gotta know the password. Which you do. I programmed their whole setup. Uh, would you mind turning around? Okay, we're in. Want more light? No. We had a break-in a few months ago. Officer Goodson noticed the lights and dashed in. He would. The guy ran out the back window. He couldn't find anything missing. So Goodson was a big hero. Okay, what do you want to know? We need their names to see who is staying at the hotel. Mm -hmm. The oh, door. No. Wait, what's happening? Let us out. Open hey, the door. Out. It won't open. We're trapped. Aaron, I am off to the supermarket to pick up the soft drinks, and if you believe, please make sure the front door is locked. Door locked? Check. <coughs> oh, yes. And I found this in the basement. You can use it for decoration. It's just an old broom. Oh, no, it's not. This is a genuine witch's broom. Are you serious? It belonged to my great aunt, Annie Evil Eyed McCabe. Oh, Mrs. McCabe, um, this bobbing apple thing, well, uh -huh. you know, I've been thinking. It might be fun. It is. I could bring back some apples. Good idea. <laughs> and we'll need a barrel, too. Yeah. I think there's one in the shed out back. You wait and see. Everyone will love it. Just like a real Halloween. <laughs> Don't push me. Isn't there someone we can phone for help? No phone. Don't use too much force. It's got to land on the cardboard. Suppose this doesn't work. It'll open again Monday. My mother will kill me. Okay, I, I think I got it. Ready? One, two. two. Let's see. It didn't work. What now? The computer. We tap into the police headquarters and tell them that we're trapped. No way. I've been in enough trouble already. The police catch me here. I'm Isn't dead. there someone else we can send a message to? Come on. Yeah, 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 I'm in the woods. Excuse me. Aaron, help. We are trapped inside the museum. Please respond, respond. Respond, help. find out who Action Development Corporation is. Cool. Mm. 
we're in. Yes. No listing on Action Development Corporation. Maybe they're part of another company. Yeah, good thing. Corporation is owned by Beta Holdings Limited. Look here! The front door is locked. Try the back door. The back! Go around the back! Back door! Come on, to do it! Got it! Beta Holdings is owned by CGC Investments Incorporated. One is the actors coming up. David Albertson. No. H.C. Berry. No. Eric Baldwin. No. Jay McKenzie Jr. No. Anthony Sanders. No. Ta-da! I'm here. Look at the William Sylvester. No. Hey guys, you're being rescued, I mean. I got some thanks here. Okay, you're with me. DJ Trent? No, I didn't think so. What is this? Attendance? Peter Watson? No. Last one. Troy Whitaker. No, nothing matches. Wait a minute, I know him. Who? Troy Whitaker. He was in the store today. He's a town counselor. <laughs> We could sit here all day. Town councilors aren't supposed to buy land secretly. It's against the law or something. They say we follow them. Well, why? Because I don't know what else to do. Come on. You're closed.
next time on McCabe Mysteries. If you dare. I'm not breaking into the museum. You have to. It's against the law. Not if the man who started the museum gives you permission. And a key. This is a police investigation. If you're hiding stolen property, you're in a lot of trouble. If I were you, I'd turn that over right now. I don't know where the gold is. I don't. Yeah. Well, then, we see you at the party, huh? Aaron, Aaron, are you okay? Are you sure this is the right place? Maybe he lied to us. The gold comes here. It goes to the police. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to come back and look for that gold and for anyone who they might think might have it. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys scared? That was a real ghost, eh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, really you guys, you're a great actor. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Awesome. Now we have a TVO Kids kid on the phone. Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi. Hi. Danny, what did you think of McCabe Mysteries? It was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. And it's though. not even over yet, right? Yep. Are you going right. to watch part two coming up really soon right now? Yep. Okay. All right, what's your question for these two? How is it like when you just start acting? Well, some people, it was nervous, but I wasn't nervous. The first thing I did was a commercial, and it was fun, and, you know, it was only a few hours, and it was fun. Good. Kind of natural? Um, first thing I did was a commercial, too, with my brother. Huh? And it was during, like, the middle of August, and we were, it was supposed to be winter, yeah. so we were bundled up in all this stuff. Oh. It's and they had hot. fake snow yeah. in that? Yeah, and they had fake snow, and one guy fainted. Oh, it was no, really cool. Oh, but it was, it was fun. It was fun. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, Danny, thank you very much for your call. Yeah. Okay, Happy you Halloween. have a great Halloween. Bye. See yeah. ya. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so that's kind of neat. And we're going to try and get another caller through in a second. In the meantime, so you guys have acted before, right? Yeah. 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 How many years have you been acting? Five. 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 So oh, how old are you now? Yeah. I'm 15. I'm 12. All right. Okay, we have another caller on the phone. Hi. Hi. Who's this? My name is Rima. Hi, Rima. Hi, Rima. Hi, um, I'm, I'm asking Benji and Maya for, is it really hard to learn your li lines in the script? Ooh, well, do you want to answer? Um, <laughs> it's not, um, you, we rehearse it a lot, so you kind of, you, you do it t seven yeah, times, so you kind of get it. And you read it through live, and then once you get on, it's like, it just goes. Okay. Yeah, just it, it makes it. sense. Do you have someone just, that helps you, like cue you, you know, we'll read other parts? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> I think a continuity person, and they yeah, and they a read script us our, assistant. Yeah, script yeah. assistant. There you go. And they read us our lines if we. Hey, Rima, what are you going to be for Halloween? Well, I'm going to dress as a witch. All right, cool. Me too. There wow. you go. Yay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Bye. Thank bye, you. Bye. Bye. Now we had another caller who wanted to know why your character is always getting blamed. I don't know. What's going on there? <laughs> Actually, okay. Joe, um, don't okay. give any secrets away. Okay. 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 My character is not the nice like he's kind of a bully at school and, he oh. and he, sometimes he's he's broken some windows and some stuff. Uh, so he's not a nice guy. I, no, I, I'm a nice. I'm a ni <laughs> I don't have I don't have the best family. Okay, that's okay. the thing. Uh, and in real life, are you a troublemaker? Um, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm the perfect um, guy. Uh, <laughs> all right. Sure. Well, we got part two coming up in about 20 seconds. Yeah. So all you guys just stay tuned, hang tight. In a half an hour, you go trick or treating. But yeah. first, you sit here and watch part two of McCabe Mystery. And hey, if you want to give us a call and tell you what you think of McCabe, we want to hear from you. Okay, so with here Maya, Benji, the Swamp Ghost, and, and Vampira, Vampira, McCabe. Remember the last time on McCabe Mysteries? <laughs> Mr. Taylor, we'd like to ask your son a few questions. There was fire last night. We think he might have been involved. Hey, Mr. McCabe, this is Joe, Joe Taylor. I know who he is. Says he didn't burn down your barn. I believe him. I didn't. I didn't burn down anything. It's the truth. I hope it is, young man, for your sake. Aaron, help. We are trapped inside the museum. Please respond, respond. Councilors aren't supposed to buy land secrets. It's against the law or something. I say we should follow them. 
Breaking into the museum. You have to. It's against the law. Not if the man who started the museum gives you permission. And a key. Yeah. No one's gonna believe a ghost said this was okay. Don't be such a geek. Hey, he told Fred that Mr. Whitaker tried to buy a park. Fred figures he was found out about the gold. When Miss McCabe went south, he burnt it down. And everybody's blaming me. Okay. He had his diary inside of Sherlock Holmes' novel. Doesn't look much like him. Get real. <laughs> diary! It's gone! Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, good. I need some help. Hi, Will you guys help me? Looks great. Okay, carry a tub from the shed to... But of course. We couldn't possibly let you carry a great big heavy tub all the way from the shed by yourself. Oh, no, no, no. Not after you went to all that trouble to rescue us. <laughs> Fred? Mr. McCabe? This is spooky. There are lights over there. Fred's son knew where this came. He rigged the circuit to the basement lights. But most of the bulbs have flown. Look! another way out. There must be a trap door in Miss McCabe's shed. Hey, Willie, you know this whole mining stuff? Yeah. I think it's a still. A still what? Uh, still, for making illegal action. Can you check? Hello? <laughs> Before Mr. Whitaker does. Yeah, you probably stole the diary from the museum. Yeah, him and that horned guy from the motel. You can't trust anybody. That's why I buried the gold in the first place. Who'd look under a barn? Oh, trees. There used to be some trees. Here? 
The gold is in a tin box buried with a statue they gave me for being such a worthy mayor. Oh, what are we going to do with the gold? It's mine. It's for my granddaughter. I'll get the gold. No way. The gold's going to prove I didn't burn down the barn. The gold comes here. It goes to the police. Can't go anywhere if I don't tell you where it is. Hey, we could set a trap. How? What's in that? It's special powder for the decorations. It turns orange under ultraviolet light. Stays on your hands for days. So? So, we take the gold, sprinkle the powder all over the trunk, and bury it again. Yeah. And when they dig it up, they get the powder all over their hands. Yeah, and the police catch them orange-handed. They don't need the gold. Hey, you're good. Thanks. Ghost Rider is my favorite program. <laughs> okay, I'll buy it. What about you, sonny boy? Let's do it. It doesn't make sense. I mean, why didn't he put the gold in the bank? Yeah, he's a little weird. He's a ghost and a bootlegger. He's supposed to be weird. Yeah, well, I don't trust him. I could go back to the museum, do some research. Great, we'll meet you back in the cave, okay? Um, do you need any help? Want to come to the museum? Can I? If you get rid of that monkey suit. This is a mystery, not a safari. Are you sure this is the right place? Maybe he lied to us. What have you got? Fortune and gold missing. New Brandon's police department is investigating the theft of 300 gold coins that were on display at the town hall. New Brandon's mayor, Fred McCabe, called the crime a disgraceful act and swore that the criminal would be brought to justice. He stole them. Fred McCabe was a thief. I knew it. Why did we trust a ghost? The statue, just like he said. Whoa. There's a certain feel to gold, as if the fingers sense its power. When we found that vein in 22, I knew we were getting close just by the feel of the rock. Did you put the powder in that trunk? Yes, and we buried it again. Just like you said. Good, good. Hey guys, we found the gold. New Brandon Centennial. This gold isn't his. It was stolen. Stolen? I'm ridiculous. You stole it. We read all about it. You stole these coins from the display at the town hall. You were the mayor. People trusted you. And you stole their gold? I did no such thing. My partner did. And then I stole it from him. What's the difference? The difference is that he's gone, and I'm here, and so is my gold. We're still giving the gold to the police. What for? Do you think they're going to thank you? Oh, no. You'll still get blamed. They'll figure that you burned down the barn to get the gold. And they'll probably charge you with possession of stolen property. Didn't think of that, did you? No. Whitaker and Horton are probably digging for that gold right now. And when all they find is an empty trunk, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to come back and look for that gold and for anyone who they might think might have it. <laughs> <laughs> Troy Whitaker, the counselor. You expect us to believe that Troy Whitaker and some man in a motel set fire to the barn so they could dig up some buried gold? It's true. The man's name is Horton. He chased us. What is this, some kind of Halloween prank? No, they stole Fred McCabe's diary. It had a map in it. You've got to believe us. Did you see Whitaker or Horton steal the diary? 
Did you see them dig up the gold? No, but Weirger tried to buy the barn. Miss McCabe wouldn't sell, so they burnt it down. Wait, wait. You're jumping to conclusions. You have no proof of anything. We will tonight. We've set a trap at the party. All you have to do is be there. You can arrest them and get the gold back. Please? I don't know. No, no. It might be a, might be a good idea. But if this is some kind of stupid stunt to get you out of trouble, you're going to be real sorry. There. Mr. Whitaker can't miss this. Come on. Hey, guys, over here. We talked to the police. They're coming. Here. Ellie made four. Very treasured to be revealed at Halloween party. Age-old mystery solved. Well, looks great. Did you hide the gold? Uh-huh, and no one can find it. But it's right there. Under everybody's nose. Shh. <laughs> your story. Seems there was a Greg Horton registered here, but he checked out three hours ago. See, I told you he was here. Yeah, well, you told us a lot of things, but I don't know if I believe it all. I think you have the gold. I think you dug it up first. Look, this is a police investigation. If you're hiding stolen property, you're in a lot of trouble. If I were you, I'd turn it over right now. I don't know where the gold is. I don't. Yeah. Well, then... We see you at the party, huh? I lied. I'm dead meat. You didn't lie. You don't know where the gold is. Aaron hid it. Your party shot. Panning the food counter. Big surprise. Brad comes as a computer. Oh wow. Well. Wait till he sees this. Go on, Brad, go for it. New people coming through the door. <gasps> Great, they're here. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Listen, Great to see you. You should have made him wear a costume. Thank you. That's a good thing to eat. <laughs> Here we've got everybody waiting to bob for apples. Wait, 
and the other kicks. But remember, if a vampire doesn't get his way, he bites. And his bite can be deadly. Yeah, well, uh, we have to go help out Aaron, so we'll yeah. see you later. Yeah. Bye. Ultraviolets? Yeah, we sprinkled the powder all over the trunk. Now it's all over their hands. That means you took the gold. Yeah, but we don't know where it is. Brad and Aaron hid it. When Aaron says, and let's give Miss McCabe a great big hand, everybody will clap. Then I'll turn off the house lights. Then I'll turn on the ultraviolets, and their hands will go in the dark. Then you can arrest them. No, this is ridiculous. Most people wash their hands before they come to a party. Doesn't matter. This stuff doesn't fade for days. You take Horton. I'll stay close to Whitaker. Don't forget your cue. You must give Miss McCabe a great big hand. Great big hand. And for bobbing the biggest apple, this genuine, authentic witch's broom, which I have been told on very good authority, once belonged to that legendary witch, Miss Annie McCabe. But now it's time to say goodnight. It's been a great Halloween and an awesome party. And we need to thank the person responsible for letting us use this terrific place. So let's... Great big hand. Great big hand. Come on. Great big hand. I'll give a great big hand to... Yeah, hey, what's going on? Look at his hair. Get him. Okay. Can you go in there for a somebody turn the lights on? Don't move. You're under All arrest. Right. Okay. This is police business, boys and girls. I'm sorry, but the party is over. This is a mistake. We did it. We did it. Yes. Very clever. Sometimes, sometimes clever isn't enough. Where's the gold? It's in the shed. Wait, well, let's go get it. You've made a mistake. I'm working undercover. We're investigating Troy Whitaker for misuse of town funds and fraud. I'm a police officer. You are not. You stole the diary. I saw it in your room. And I bet you locked us in the museum, too. Yeah. You're right. Because I thought you were going to give me away. Be quiet, both of you. You. That gold's evidence. Where is it? It's in there, right? Then get it. Where's Whitaker? You let him get away. You were wrong about him. His hands didn't light up. That's not possible. They should have... Gloves. He was wearing gloves. Joe! He's got Joe. I know it. Hurry up. Whitaker's got Joe. Yeah, we went outside. Joe! He's in the shed. Let's get him. Stay with Horton. Where are you? Oh. 
Okay, I'm calling for backup. We can't let him get away. Find us, car. He must have parked around here somewhere. Check my wallet, back pocket, my badge is in there. Oh, wow. What do you know? You are a cop. Yeah. Well, you kind of messed up on this one, didn't you? But you were a part of this? Con Whitaker in the museum stealing the diary. Let him go for a 50-50 split. But now, it looks like it's all mine. My partner? Yeah, this afternoon at the motel. He said it was evidence. He was the one that said nothing was stolen from the museum. But it was warning signs that glowed in the dark. Was it? When the lights went out, they were right beside each other. Yeah. And Goodson knew about the powder because we told him. You mean it was his hands that glowed? I can't believe I trusted him. No. I told him where the gold was. <gasps> Come on. Don't look at me. This old guy in a robe was here. Goodson took one look at him and he screamed. Then he fainted. How about that? Fred came through for us. Yeah, I guess we should tell Fred that we got Whitaker too. I think he already knows. You solved the case. Yes. All right, we have a TVO Kids kid on the phone. Hi, Alexis. Hi. Hey, Alexis, where are you calling from? Owen Sound. How old are you? I'm 11. Now, what do you think of McCabe Mysteries? It's the best show next to Ghost Rider. <laughs> now, now, you've watched McCabe four times, right? Yeah, I watched it twice, three times on yours, and uh, once on Saturday morning. Wow. wow. So yeah. what was your favorite part? Well, when... When at the very end on the second part when they caught the real bad guy. Oh. Did you know it was gonna be him? Yeah. You did. You did. <laughs> oh, you're pretty smart. Okay, so do you have a question? Well I have two. Okay. Okay. Cool. This is a question for Ben. When they picked you, did they know about your talent on Ready or Not? Um, yeah, I think they did. <laughs> Yeah. And what's your question for the, the other one? This is for both of you. Okay. Do you like being on McKay Mysteries? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a Hello. lot of fun. You're hoping it'll go to series, right? Very much. Well, All you right. know if it goes yeah. to series, you're going to have one hardcore fan, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Well, listen, Alexis, you have a great Halloween, and thanks for calling. Okay, thanks. Alexis. Right, bye. Alexis. Yeah? Boo! <laughs> Bye, Alexis. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Now, as you can see, we did carve three more pumpkins today amongst all the chaos. Okay, and, and let's let's see. Can you guys lift these up a bit? Okay. This First one has wacky ears. Oh, it has wacky ears, and this was carved by our friend Kevin. Not this one, a different Kevin. Different Kevin. And it's by Brad Lynn. Okay. Awesome. And the, one, and the one Benji's holding was carved by Patty, and that is Matthew's pumpkin right there. Look at that. Right this one. All right. And Ooh, can cool. somebody, Kevin, can you grab yeah, yeah. that one? This really funky looking one at the it's front perfect. was carved by this Kevin. And it was by it Patty, was by Patty Marchand, I believe. Right there, yeah. Is that right? So uh, congratulations all our jack-o'-lantern winners. You guys sent in great designs. Excellent. I like them. Are you guys yeah. looking forward to going out tonight? Yeah. 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 So yeah. once again, you're going out as a, as a, a witch. Right. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna be a guy with a pretzel in his forehead. <laughs> pretzel head. I like yeah. it. Well, you and guys, if you guys are ever around the crawl space, come back, please. Yeah, it'd okay. be great right. to have you in. Sure. And uh, just in case you missed it, it, this was Swamp Thing Ghost. Yeah, and and Vampira. 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 And yeah. thanks for all your suggestions on what we should dress up as. It's because of you that we did it. Yeah, actually, are you going to a party tonight? I think I am. Are different you? costume, yeah, yeah. Different costume. All right. Okay. Well, let's let them know what's happening tomorrow right here on TVO Kids. Kind of back to a great regular day starting at 4 o'clock with the Rush Hour. Miraculous Mellows is back at 4, then Art Attack at 4.30, and NWD at 4.45. Don't forget about Polka Hour. Starting with Bingo at 5 o'clock, the crazy guy. And then we're on to Chicken Minute at 5.05. Want to be watching that tomorrow. Polka Outdoors here at 5.30. And then in our Power Hour, part one of Ghost Rider at 6 and and Bill Nye, the science guy, is back at 6.30. The power hour. Yeah. Okay, we have a, a TVO Kids kid in here. Come on, come on in here, come George. Come on in, George. Come, come on, on in. in. He's dressed up as somebody we all know and love. Squeeze right this. in. Move come on, right in. George. Move come in. in. Move in. Oh, Look at oh, this. Can you squeeze in? Look at this. He's George. dressed as, as me. He's dressed as Kevin. <laughs> awesome. That, seriously, George? That's a great costume. Thanks. Thanks. Excellent. And George's friend, Andrea, was here earlier. Actually, she's still here. <laughs> Yell hello. Hi. Hi. Thank she, you. Was, she was the cat. Yeah, thank you for bringing in the lollipops. No problem. Good work. Thanks. Excellent. Thank you very much. Everybody, have a safe and happy Halloween. Yes, keep smiling. Have a great night. Have lots of fun. And don't get sick on the candy. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Bye. 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 Studio 2. Join us weeknights at 8 on TVO.